Hi, everybody. It's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Today's video is called The Best Way to Train Your Dog, Be the Pack Leader Your Dog Wants You to Be. If you have not been here before, my name is Deborah. I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. And several times a month, I do videos all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you uh, would enjoy having this sort of content to help you with your pet. I would love to have you on board as a subscriber. Also, if this video is helpful to you, please go ahead and give it a like and share the channel with your friends and families who have a dog or a cat that they may need some help with. Again, thanks so much for joining. In today's video, we're going to talk about a few things. First, we're going to talk about whether it's really necessary for you to be pack leader to your dog. We're going to talk about whether a pack leader needs to be aggressive. We're also going to be talking talking about um, a free resource I'm going to give you for dog obedience training. It's a free video series. I'm going to talk about it in today's video. I'm going to give you the link to it in the description box. I'm also going to give you a link to this article on my website, which we're using for today's video in the description box. And I'm also going to be giving you uh, the link for some professional online dog training that is super inexpensive, super effective. If you find that you need more help, Help with your dog uh, after you have done the free resource that I'm going to give you in today's video. So again, thanks so much for being here. I hope that by the end of today's video, you're going to be able to get some help on, on the best way to train your dog. Um, now, like I say, in this video, we're going to explore two very important questions about dog training. First, is it really necessary for you to be the pack leader? And second, is a pack leader supposed to be aggressive? The answer to the first question is yes. Dogs are pack animals. They are leaders and followers. It's simply how dogs work. The pack leader makes the decisions and the followers follow. Simple. Being the pack leader is the best, most loving, caring, thoughtful thing you will ever do for your dog. They need this from you. It's what will allow them to be a calm, relaxed, happy dog for their entire lives. Is that reason enough? If you're looking for easy ways to train a dog, this really is the best way. The answer to the second question is no. It is, is it necessary to beat your chest, shout, smack your dog in order to become the pack leader? Absolutely not. And that, and what most people don't realize is, is that even in your home, you form a pack. The members of the pack are you, your significant other, maybe children, other dogs, or a cat. Regardless of who makes up your family, make no mistake, your dog sees all of you as members of the pack, and in his eyes, there is always a pack leader, and the pack leader is responsible to make all of the decisions. Now, like I promised in the intro of the video, I'm going to give you a link here for a free video series by professional dog trainer Doggy Dan called The Quick and Easy Way to an Obedient Dog. I'm going to show you this real quick. If you click that link, you're going to come to this page on Doggy Dan's um dog training website. There's a video here uh, from Doggy Dan where he talks about the easy way um, to get an obedient dog and he gives you the sign up to go ahead and get these free videos. It covers a lot of um, different topics. For example, some of the videos you get are why most dog and puppy training fails, how to get your dog to choose to follow you, five rules that change everything. If you've heard of Doggy Dan, you might have heard of Doggy Dan's five golden rules. They are like the foundation of his dog training. Video four is the one resource to solve every dog and puppy issue. Like I said, this is a free resource. It is packed full of information from Doggy Dan. It's called the easy way to an obedient dog. In the description box, you're going to find a link to go ahead and sign up for that if you would like to. I think you'll find it very helpful. Now, continue on with our video. Is the pack leader aggressive in their behavior? The thing to realize is that the best pack leaders are calm and consistent. They are firm but fair. There is no screaming, no hurting, and no need for smacking. All those things that used to be associated with being the pack leader many years ago are old school approaches. Old school dog training used to teach you that you needed to physically dominate your dog. It involved a lot of force and confrontation 
education, which would often turn ugly. The newest and best dog training focuses on teaching people how to actually win their dog's mind in a calm and gentle way so that their dog accepts them as the pack leader through choice, not through fear. By learning how our dogs see the world, we can communicate clearly to them in a way that they understand. There is no need for fear or aggression in this training. If you are struggling, then chances are what your dog needs is to see you as the pack leader. By the way, I'm going to give you a link in the description box for a blog post by Doggy Dan called Why You're Struggling to to Train Your Dog, and that'll give you some more um free dog training information. It's a great blog post. I recommend you go ahead and click on it and read it. So why is this so important to know? Because if your dog doesn't see you as the pack leader, he'll assume the role himself. Let me repeat that, you guys, because it's really important. If your dog doesn't see you as the pack leader, he will assume the role himself. Do you know what a huge responsibility that is to lay on your poor dog? They'll be aggressive, nervous, anxious, barking all the time, not socializing well with other dogs or people. The list of behavior problems is enormous when a dog thinks that he has to be the pack leader. He is convinced that it is his job to protect the pack, and believe me, he'd much rather have you as the pack leader. Now, before we go on, there's a brief interruption in the article, so I'll interrupt the video briefly to invite you to go ahead and sign up for my dog lover's email list. I'll give you a link in the description box. If you are signed up for that about once a week or so, you'll get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com all about the care and health and training of dogs and puppies. I think you'll find it to be quite useful and and entertaining and interesting. If at any time you want to unsubscribe, you can. And as a free gift for subscribing, I will send you a free uh, dog training manual from Doggy Dan. So I'm really happy to be giving you several free resources today for dog training. Now, in many homes, there are dogs who are just too happy to please. They simply do as you ask without any questioning. They are easy to train and the owners are convinced that it is all due to how good they are as owners. But the fact is, it usually has nothing to do with how good the owners are. Some dogs are just easier to train than others. Some dogs will just naturally follow. However, if you have a different difficult, very smart, driven dog, then you have to know what you are doing and the messages that you are giving your dog. The secret to training these types of dogs, and most dogs really, is to ensure that you are the pack leader in the home. Only then will they listen to you. If you are struggling, I can promise you the best way to train your dog is to become the pack leader. It's the first thing you need to do. Become the pack leader now. I have discovered a fantastic research resource which shows you how to become the pack leader in the most effective, gentle way. It is a dog training website run by professional dog trainer, Doggy Dan. Um, like I said, I'm giving you some res free resources from Doggy Dan. I'm going to give you the link to sign up for the free videos about the fastest way to an obedient dog. I'm going to give you a link to Do Doggy Dan's blog post called Why You're Struggling to Train Your Dog. And then if you would like to continue on and get more dog training, I'm going to give you the link to Doggy Dan's dog training website called the Online Dog Trainer. I will give you the link to that in the description box. Now, uh, this website offers a three-day trial for $1. The website has over 250 videos in it. And so for three days, you sign up for $1 and you have three days to watch as many of those videos as you want to. Um, if you do continue on and you want to have a membership and you want to go on longer and watch more videos, it's $37 a month and you can cancel at any time. So if you want to pay $37 and then spend the next month looking, you know, uh, at videos for whatever dog training issues you're having, you can do that. If you have a small puppy, I would, or if you have a dog that you're having a lot of behavioral issues with, I would suggest taking advantage of Doggy Dan's six month membership or his 12 month membership. Um, they will give you a significant savings and if you have a puppy, 
you know, you're probably going to want like this, at least the six months, because you're going to need to teach, you know, potty training, leash training, how to teach the puppy to be home alone. You might want to do crate training, um, you know, all these sorts of things. So I, again, if you have a small puppy, I would suggest that you go ahead and get the six month um, plan for doggy Dan, if you can. Um, but I'm going to give you some things to click on here. You're, you can go in and check it out for yourself. But he does offer a three-day trial for $1. The website has over 250 videos, including live consultations in people's homes. The, the site explains very clearly how to become the pack leader. The simple steps are clearly laid out for you to follow. It even has an entire section dedicated to puppy training and another to stopping unwanted behaviors. If you are serious about having a well-trained dog that you can be proud of, then I fully recommend that you take a look at the site now. Please come back and comment on this video and let me know what you think. And also, I'm going to give you a link in the description box for my full review of the online dog trainer. And uh, so that'll give you a little bit more um, information about what what is included in that um, dog training website. Now, a couple of things before we go, and I'm going to do like a little recap as well. Um, I donate to animal charities. Um, I am an affiliate for some, not all, of the products and services that I recommend on my website and also on this YouTube channel. Um, if you use the links that I give you, if I am an affiliate for that company, I will receive a, a small commission. And then I donate 10% of all of the commissions that I earn to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you will see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. Um, couple more things. Now, like I say, in the description box, I'm going to give you a link to this article. I'm going to give you a link to the free video series about having an obedient dog. I'm going to give you a link to Doggy Dan's blog post about why you might be struggling to train your dog. And I'm also going to give you a link to the dog training website where you can get that three day $1 trial. And then you can sign up for longer if you want to, and you can cancel at any time once you've gotten the training that you need. I do agree wholeheartedly with Doggy Dan's uh, pack leader approach to dog training. I do think that it is is the best, most loving thing that you can do for your dog. And it does solve virtually any dog behavior issues. If your dog is barking all the time, I always say if your dog has a stroke every time the doorbell rings, if your dog is having a fit anytime anybody comes in the yard, if your dog is pulling and being aggressive on the walk, if he's being aggressive with other dogs, all these things can be traced back to the fact that the dog thinks that he has to be in charge and he finds it stressful. OK, um, it's a very few dogs that actually enjoy being the pack leader. Most dogs don't enjoy that. Most dogs don't want that role. OK, so it's very likely that your dog will benefit if you will go through the super easy steps that Doggy Dan will teach you on how to show your dog that you're the pack leader. You're going to be surprised at how easy it is. And like we talked about early in the video, there is no aggression involved. There is no reason reason to be mean to your dog. There's no reason to try to dominate over your dog. None of that is necessary. I hope that you'll go into Doggy Dan's website and get the help that you need. So again, thank you so much for watching. If the video was helpful, please give it a like. Please go ahead and subscribe to my email list. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you on board. And again, please go ahead and share the channel and my website with your friends and family who have a dog or a cat. If there's anything else I can help you with, feel free to look around on my YouTube channel to see if there might be a video on whatever issue you're having. If not, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. If I can do a video for you or if I can refer you to a free resource, I definitely am happy to help. So again, thanks so much for watching. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.